Hello everyone, I am Yash Patel and welcome back to my channel Jango World. So in last video we have fixed this navbar active classes. Okay, and we have seen that how we can allocate classes dynamically. So in today's video we are going to see that how can a particular user can automatically log in after creating the user. So to do that we need to do some setup in our views.py and our navbar also. Okay. So here we will go to authors and views.py where our user is being created. Okay, now here we will first import two things. So here we will import from Django dot country dot auth import authentication authenticate and login. Okay. Now here we will create new user variable new user equals to then we will use authenticate function so copy paste and in, uh, in this we will pass our username so user name equals to form dot cleaned data clean data and in that we will pass the name of the field in our case it's username okay so username and same thing we will do for password password is equals to form but we need to do comma also and here it will be password one one okay after doing this we need to do login so login and then in parenthesis we will pass the request comma the variable which we have created paste okay now here what this is going to do first it will uh, take authenticate function in which if it will pass username and password after cleaning the data and then this username will contain all our credentials username and password and it will be passed in login method and the user will be logged in okay now after doing this we will go to register.html so not register.html sorry we will go to components and in navbar okay now here once user is logged in then we don't want to show this login and sign up right so for that we will check for authentication so here i will give if loop okay so if user dot is or underscore authenticated authenticated and I will cut this if loop and paste it over here so if user is authenticated then I want to show the username so I will just copy this link and paste it and here I will just give hash for now so Hmm, hash and instead of login I will pass username in double parenthesis so user dot username okay now I will also remove this checks of checks for the path I don't want to give it for now so I will just remove it okay fine now if user is not authenticated then we will show these both links okay just save this come over here refresh okay now we will create one user so first name will be example one exam then username will be 
example 100 email id will, email id will be example 100 at the rate gmail.com and password uh, it will be yosh yosh 21 yosh yosh 21 21 okay i will create user now you can see it has changed the change that uh, login button and sign up button to the username now if anyone will click here we will redirect that user to its profile page which we will create later but for now we have successfully logged in the user okay now in next lecture we will see that how we can log out the user and we will create form for login user template in login.html and that user can provide the credentials and he or she can log in okay so if you like my video please like like share and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next one thank you